Hey everybody, it's day 28 of my AMA video series in support of my fundraiser for the Norwegian Refugee Council. That means my birthday is only three days away, which I guess is supposed to be scary or something. I don't know. It's just a day. I don't know. But it's, that means the end of this video series. If you have a question you want me to answer in this video series, you only have three days left to go to the URL on the screen and put in your question. And if you want to contribute to my fundraiser, you also only have three days left to go to the URL on the screen and put in your uh, donation. All right, <coughs> so like I said yesterday, I was at WordCamp Vancouver speaking. And uh, what happens every time I'm at any event speaking is someone comes up to me and says, Martin, what is your best advice for public speaking? And they're probably looking for something like, you know, uh, if you do this one thing, you'll not be stressed out. Or if you do this one thing, you'll do your talk better. Or, you know, this is how I prepare my slides or something like that. But talking to public speakers and teachers and everything over the years, I've realized there's really no best practice tricks to be a public speaker. You kind of just have to make yourself go through it. The only absolutes that I've found is the second you feel totally comfortable doing public speaking and you're like, oh, I got this, no problem. I'm not as stressed at all, everything's fine. That's probably when you should quit because then you don't longer care. But that's neither here nor there. So yesterday, Adam asked me the question, what are your tips to becoming a better public speaker? And I wanted to share my answer that I gave to him with you so you can see how bizarre it is because my answer is actually one of those one weird trick to make you a better public speaker. It is a tea. <laughs> it's a tea called throat coat. Oops, that's the French side. This is the English side. Throat coat, temporary relief of minor throat irritations. Because public speaking is the same as throat irritation. When you start speaking, your throat will be fine. 10, 15, 20, 40 minutes into any kind of talk, your voice gets really raspy. And you can hear my voice is kind of rough today and it's because I was talking all day yesterday and I just wore it out. <coughs> so at lynda.com, before we became LinkedIn Learning, we used to have this tea, we still do. Um, and when our authors and instructors got really worn down from talking a lot, we would be like, hey, you should have a cup of throat coat and it'll make it better. And honestly, it does actually coat your throat in some magical way and makes your voice sound better. So if you watch videos of me speaking or if you see me at a conference speaking, you'll notice I have a cup next to me and I sip from it, that's throat coat. And I've been drinking it beforehand. Now this isn't some performance enhancing drug for public speaking. All it does is somehow help your throat so that your voice doesn't get raspy as quickly. Now, um, I believe it's because of the ingredients inside. It has things like organic licorice root and wild cherry bark and bitter fennel and a bunch of other weird stuff. So it is a herbal tea and it tastes kind of interesting. It tastes like licorice. So if you like black licorice, <laughs> like I like black lic licorice. So if you're European, I guess you like black licorice and then you'll love this. Uh, my experience is North Americans are not really fond of black licorice. So a lot of people find this taste kind of not good. But it's just a herbal tea, and herbal tea doesn't taste good, ever. Anyway, so, in my opinion. Um, there's one thing though, because it has this black licorice root in it, um, it does uh, cause heart palpitations if you drink too much of it. So I try to restrict myself to two cups a day. It says here that you can drink one cup four to six times daily. I don't know what that means, that you can drink one cup and then do it over four to six times. No, it actually means you can drink four to six cups of this a day. If you do that, your heart's gonna start raising. Um, and it actually says here, consult a healthcare provider before taking if you have diabetes or hypokalemia, or if you are taking any kind of hormonal therapies, diuretics, potassium depleting agents, MAO inhibitors. Um, do not use if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Do not use if you have impaired kidney or liver functions, high blood pressure or heart disease. Yeah, so, uh, uh, maybe look at the ingredient list and the warnings before you buy it. But if you feel comfortable drinking this stuff, and I mean, you would probably just drink one cup of it. It actually does help you if you're doing public speaking. And that could be any kind of public speaking on a stage, recording a video, uh, talking to people for a long time, do an important meeting, anything like that. It just helps your voice. No magic, just helps your voice not sound like my voice does today. All right. That was one weird trick from Martin. 
I'm sorry, it wasn't something spectacular, but it works weirdly. And I am not sponsored by Throat Code in any way. I just buy the product because it actually works. <coughs> not today, but other days it works fine. All right, so like I said, this is um, almost the last day. There's only three days left, so you have three days to send in questions if you want me to answer them in this video series. If you want to contribute to my fundraiser for the Norwegian Refugee Council and help refugees and displaced people all over the world, you can do that too. All of the information is found on the URL on my screen right now, mortin.com slash mortin is an old. Three days left. Let's bust that barrier and get up to over $5,000. I will see you tomorrow.